What's up gamers? Welcome back to the channel for your daily dose of good vibes and video games and some more Tales from the Borderlands. Last episode was kind of a big one. First off, rest in peace is Scooter. Second off, we kind of were backstabbed by Yvette and I don't really know how to feel about it. Feel like I should have seen it coming, but I didn't because I tend to assume the best in everybody. Sorry. In today's episode, we will officially be infiltrating Hyperion, and we're probably going to see how that's going to end up going, which hopefully good, but considering they mentioned Scooter being one of the first casualties, I feel like there might be more, so might have to get your tissues ready. So before we get started, I just want to say thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys so much for your endless support. Appreciate it so, so, so much. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And with all that being said, let's get back into Tales from the Borderlands. We're standing by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's oh, no. play. Reese is kind of OP too. And we're linked. Now for the password. All right, all right. You want to dance? Let's dance. Oh no. Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace, though. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. Holy what? Child's play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. And now I wrote the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Hack and attack. Attack, hack, attack, coming at you, baby. Freaking rule. And that is not the royal we this time. Aha. Uh -huh. Security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec. Let me find you. Find who? Select the panels to view, uh, to view security camera feeds. Start with this one. Oh, is that them? No, it's not. No. Yes. There they are. Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. If I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Come on, this way. Excuse me. Okay, we're at the hub of heroism. Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. We have pickpocket people? Look at these assholes. So proud of themselves. I wonder if they know they're evil. What a bunch of losers. We can pickpocket this guy? Howdy. No, who, right? Some lady's trying to get my attention when clearly I'm having an important conversation. So, uh... Okay. So... Heck yeah, how much? Woo, almost up to 1k again, let's go. You ready for this? I was fabricated, programmed, and wired ready. I was also built to dance. 
He's so freaking cute. Okay, where are we going next? What the hell are you doing here? Motivational speaker. Said my gun doesn't talk. Do your job, or you'll hear what she has to say. Handsome Jack Memorial and Tour. It's like they worship him. Uh. Spot our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. All right, checking the schedule. Checking the schedule. All right, a guide will be coming off our tour any second. We're on it. Um, is that her? Nope, not a tour guide. That doesn't look like a tour guide. What about this guy? Nope. Is that her? No, that's a him. All right, there's the tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah, when I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, 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 what about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am. Private <laughs> Gordis is on the job. believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food <laughs> that's why i stick to coffee hides the whiskey on my breath <laughs> a woman after my own heart uh i've been thinking if hyperion served real food not that free hyperhydrated crap oh come on Any idea who this is? A uh, nice tour. Come on, I'll help you find a change of clothes. You know, have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot, you'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? <laughs> Five minutes, she already got a promotion. Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordas. Hi, Reese! <laughs> oh, damn it! What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Attention, Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Fiona? I don't like their faces. They aren't moving. Who's this? Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. Mm -mm. Pretty though. Pretty suspicious. Uh, nice masks. Oh, you think we'd settle for Promethean knockoffs? This is the Handsome Jack VIP experience, baby! Right. So are you going to give us the tour or not? Oh, uh... You've kept us waiting long enough. Yeah, let's start the tour already. I don't appreciate your attitude. And I don't appreciate your tardiness. Well, we can't always get what we want, now can we? Handsome Jack always did, and we will too. All right, VIPs. Well, get ready for a once in a lifetime experience. <laughs> for all of us.
Here we go. The uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This depicts... Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Ooh. Handsome ah. Jack's father? What a scene. Handsome Jack's father? Defeating, um... What a badass. Cool. Like father, like son, I suppose. I can't believe how similar they look. The entire army of Gremtilius by rolling over it with a giant eyeball. Huh. What a mess. Whoa. You are totally blowing my mind right now. <laughs> Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... <laughs> no freaking way. Jack's infamous horse, made from real diamonds. And, uh... Wish well, I had uh... a horse like that. Wish it I craps had diamonds guns. like that. If you feed it... The stallion will crap high-velocity weaponry. Oh, so this is Butt Stallion. Ooh. Ah, Whoa. okay. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I Butt can't stallion. wait. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, kind of just looks like a chair. Uh, I think I have one like that in my office. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Jack's chair of champions. He made every great decision from this chair. He ate brunch, lunch, and dinner here. He even strapped it to the back of his diamond pony to prance into battle. Can I sit in the chair? That chair is not for sitting. Sorry about that. I had to leave my chair for a throne, if you catch my drift. Wait a minute, that wasn't an exhibit at all. Oh, shoot. So, why would you tell us that it is? Uh, I think they call people like that liars. Boom, gotcha. <laughs> Good one, right? All right, enough chit-chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. Oh no. I'm gonna need you to step aside and raise your arms. Oh, ho, ho, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. You're welcome for the awesome tour. Awesome? Yeah, it seemed like you just made up half of it. You ungrateful little poser. <laughs> okay, if posing as Handsome Jack is a crime, then find me guilty. What's this? Oh, uh, whoa. It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time, it's mine. Understood. Woo woo! <laughs> We're almost there. Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Hmm. Can't see it from here. Maybe I can just stop. What? Oh boy. I I I, I can't believe we're here. Let that go first. Uh... Here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh... Uh... Gotta be. I paid good money for this. Uh-uh. I want the full Handsome Jack VIP experience. Go for it. That means going all the way. Sure. Go for it. Handsome Jack, here I come. Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking oh, the Handsome Jack VIP experience. Oh, we hope man. you enjoyed your tour. You're Goodbye. On your own, lady. I ain't cleaning that shit up again.
That's a Again. heavy duty looking door. Oh. This better work. Damn it. I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Just open the door. Just do your wacky, hacky thing so I can get in. Okay, wacky, hacky is the worst thing you've ever said to me, and, and, and that is saying a lot. I, I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to think mm. about this for a second, and, uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay, I gotta call you back. Event's here. Crap. He said to hold tight. He's so cute. Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it. Get out of my way. Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First you give me a body that isn't re- Then you go hacking my computer? What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. Oh, hey, Yvette. Glad you came by. Just cleaning up my computer. Spare me the sarcasm. You want to tell me what's going on? We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Vaughn all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. Uh... I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you'd betray me. You're only out for yourself. I just got back and this is the crap I gotta deal with. You owe me an explanation. Or, failing that, the ticket to the top floor you promised me. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't Reese? Mm. I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Well, you seriously underestimated me. Valerie's the one who pawned that body off on me. She must have switched corpses. I wouldn't worry, though. Reese is probably still dead. I want his head here. I don't care if he's dead somewhere else. No, you really don't. I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the... Hey, how you doing? I'd, uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I need your... Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. A reminder, I feel like we should just stun she her. She's a jerk. Please hang up She's a traitor. She backstabbed me. Or walk it off. Whatever works. Or walk it off, whatever works. This is gonna be fun. Really? That's how this is going down. A stun rod. Oh, wait a second, that's the one... The one I gave... Yep. Therese. Yep. Consider this your demotion. Damn it, say something! Shocking. I know. Get out of my office, Yvette. Unless you'd rather take the airlock. How dare you threaten me? Threaten? No, this is happening. Free lunch time is over. Fiona, you there? Maurice, what took you so long? Do you forget that we have a, you know, a mission to accomplish? Yvette sold us out to Vasquez. I thought she was our friend. Oh, well, friends are rare when money's on the table. I'm sorry, Reese. So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown and I can't get the beacon. Little help? Uh... I'm working on it. Well, work faster. Oh no. Everybody's gonna die. At least we're all doomed together. Yay! Come 
Sun Reese, it'll come to you. You know, if I were you with that stun baton, I would have drained the frickin' battery on it back. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would have bought Yvette a one-way ticket to strangulation count with a brief stop at making her eyes bug out real weird station. I mean, actually, legally? Huh. That's what you're supposed to do to traitors. Yeah, yeah. I wrote it into the bylaws. Yvette's got nothing to do with this, all right? Just leave her alone. Oh, excuse me. Oh, no. The stress is getting to him. Reese, nobody's talking about Yvette. We need to come up with a plan. Will do. As I was saying, I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you, you're gonna love it. Gaper Institute. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and yeah, maybe some brains and whatnot. Oh. Just, 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 just to make sure, this trap door, is it, a, is it a way out door or an instant death trap door? You know, I like to think of it as the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but am I gonna die when I go through it? You know, I'd be insulted if I didn't know you better. Which <laughs> is it? It's the key to our whole plan. You're gonna need to go in the out hole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people died down there. No, what did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. I mean, I I've heard of some killer plans in my time, but this one takes the cupcake. You're telling me I will be the first person to go through your trap door and live to tell about it. First and probably the last. Okay then, guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step though is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jack hole there. <laughs> Tell me you've got a plan. Oh, yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a real doozy. <laughs> Let's hear it. Hey, Fee, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it and do it quick. I gotta go. All right. We do this Pandoran style. With a boom. Hey! Hey! Ooh, oh, you gotta pick the unicorn with the gun poop. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Putting this horse down. Grr, I'm ready for prison life! <gasps> why? Why is it. You didn't see anything! Why is it doing that? Stop looking! Why is it bleeding? There's, there's blood! Why is there blood? Why? What if it was just filled with strawberry jam? I told you, just get arrested and meet me at... Wait, are you there? Uh, Vaughn? Vaughn? Hey, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm with Cassius. He saved me back there and we're just... I don't know where, but we're eating Drake fruit. Really want to... Vaughn? What's the thing? Vaughn? Vasquez? Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! Oh. Kadoosh! <laughs> Wookies! 
What is this? Shoo. To lead. Billy Bird. Chica. Chica. These are the bullets. I've been counting. Get down. Ah! Ah! <laughs> So convincing. We've got him surrounded. <laughs> the janitor's like, what the? I think that had to be my favorite scene of the whole game. <laughs> Poor accountants. Hey, you. All right, you know, screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks, makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I you see one. Hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese. Things are going great. Did you just say Reese? Nothing. I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? I'm Vasquez. Not Reese. Not a stupid robot, am I right? Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, based on what I saw upstairs, she's not the brightest tool in the shed. That doesn't make sense. Quiet! So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? All I'm saying it is if I was Vasquez. If it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. Interrogation? Oh yeah, you don't do whatever they did and not get some interrogation for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? I guess so. Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey, I hear the macaroni is good. I got this handled. I do love macaroni. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Nice job. Hey, Gordis, just so you know, I, I didn't mean that. I was just acting. I'm glad he said I something. Know. You were acting me. It's okay. Why is my heart breaking right now? I feel so bad. So, what is this plan exactly? 
I found out about a trapdoor that leads to Jack's office. We just gotta figure out a way up. Ooh. What the hell? So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting most by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. Then I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait! We gotta go up that scary dark hole? Seems like a fun place, huh? No wonder you're single. I was joking. That's what I meant. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's timed. Alright, I get it now. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. You know, Fiona, sometimes you just gotta trust people. That hasn't worked out for me so far. Well, maybe this time is different. Alright, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem! Hurry up, Reese! Okay! Oh! How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem! Try not to die! <laughs> Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it. Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy. Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her. Climb, climb. Reese, be nice. I was totally only said that because I was acting like Vasquez. I would take it back, though. You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave them the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to, and no one has to get hurt. Dude, I am in the middle of something. I'm gonna have to call you back. What? Listen to me, you... God, so dramatic about everything. Ooh, nice chair. Hey, check you out, you made it. In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. I gotta say, Jack, I, I couldn't have made it here without you. Hey, same to you, man. Wow, I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordas Beacon? Well, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Look at that view. Yeah, there's really no rush here. Help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary method of communication. Gotta love it. The scarred, once upon a time sane moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except, uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. Um... Hey, there's my man. What's on your mind? What's his office even for? So, 
What's the point of this office? I mean, from what I read, you spent most of your time running around Elpis or Pandora. Yeah, but it's always nice to have somewhere we can just kick back, put up your feet, fend some subordinates out in airlock. You know, it's like I always say, home is where your airlock collection of valuables is. You built this place yourself? You build this office yourself? Ha! <laughs> I built it. No. No, 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 no. Jack doesn't do that. A desk do anything cool? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. I mean, not in a, in a threatening, I'm gonna kill you way, but more like a, I'm gonna show you in a bit and it'll be awesome. Got it, way. I think I'm just gonna take a look around. That's yeah, a spirit. Endoskeleton piece. What is this? Ah, uh, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype, but it uh, killed the subject, which is great, but just. Not what we're going for. <laughs> um. Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but <laughs> you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. That is kind of touching. Okay. What else can we look at? Nothing? Good for crushing handshakes, very high fives, sweet, sweet high caresses. Okay. Angel format, hollow memory, status, cherish, status, cherished. Angel is handsome Jack's daughter. One would think with so many planetary and sexual conquests, Jack would have had more. Nope, some jokingly refer to her as handsome Jill. Elpis, planetary type moon, current phase ebbing oval. Doll, a multi-conglomerate corporation mined this moon so hard that it split wide open in an event known as the Krakening. Some moons have a face in them, Elpis has an ass. Uh, the Scar of Elpis, Beauty Mark of Elpis, the Ass Crack of Elpis. Two billion kilotons of geothermal gas escapes from Elpis's crack every single day. Oh my god, love all the butt jokes. Oh, so we can just keep walking. Alright, where should we go now? To the wall of stuff? Welcome to my trophy case. Huh? Got a couple of killer relics. A few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. <sighs> it's delish. Gordis, you there? Hey! Uh, hi. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is. All right? Okie dokie! Let's do this! Alright, let's try this So one. this means... You own Atlas? Yep, that's right. I own the whole shebang. This way I've got the option of building them back up to destroy all over again whenever I want. Nope, but cute cowboy hat! <laughs> Cowgirl! Yeah, I don't uh, have a cowboy hat. Uh, but that was my... Girlfriend's hat. Well, her first one before she became a sexy badass sheriff type chick. <laughs> he suited her. Alright, which do I think it would be? Oh, oh, I'm so excited to find my missing piece. Like a long lost brother or sister. Goatee? It's no fun being an only child. Unidentified corporate object. Nope. Huh. Unidentified corporate object. Unidentified corporate object Z. Negative. What? Yeah, that's it. That's the one. The U-shaped thing with the little spear. Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Not much to look at. Okay. Here we go. The big seat is all yours. 
You trigger the trap door from there. From here? Jack's chair, sit. Hey, with that gorgeous. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It's good to be the king. I knew there was a reason we got along so well, kid. You get it. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? Use it for good. Can't betray my friends, though. Can't do it, won't do it. What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Gordis, come back over here. Wow, you're all telling me to do the same thing. What are the odds of that? No, 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 no. I'm not supposed to tell you that. We're kind of in the middle. <gasps> I'm sure she'd like to see you too. Oh, hey, here she is. Gordis. No, Gordis. Oh, shoot. Budge. So, if we could wield Hyperion's what? might together, how would you rule? Hypothetical, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? I'd fix Pandora. There's some good people down there. And they deserve better than a world full of psychos. Yeah, that's what I wanted. But hell, maybe you'll pull it off. Who knows? You've done well so far, kid. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. Yeah. I'd say there's no rush, but uh <laughs> I wouldn't want to. Tick tick tick, Reesey. Hell no. You're a psychopath. Why would I trust you? After all the times I tried to help you, after all we've been through, you refuse everything you've ever wanted? Oh, I knew you were an idiot the moment you plugged me into your empty little head. I should have grabbed you by the skull and bashed your brains against a freaking rock. You know you died alone, right? Vault hunters killed your friends, they killed your family, and you croaked in some volcano in the middle of nowhere. I am really going to enjoy killing you. How? I'm done talking. I'm using the trapdoor. Oh <gasps> no. No, you really not. Shoot. Reese, machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. Oh, that poor sweet Fiona. All good. Just getting into position. What are you doing? <laughs> no! Oh, I can't believe how long I was stuck inside that empty little head of yours! God, it's good to be out! Woo! Well, that 
shit's done, I'm everywhere in the system now. <laughs> Not to mention my sweet new body. You're a maniac. No, I am handsome goddamn Jack! 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 <laughs> Well then, well that was an ending to uh, episode four of Tales from the Borderlands. I wonder what would have happened if I would have chosen to rule Hyperion with him, if he would have still kind of done some evil and kind of knocked me down in a sort in some sort of way. I made the right decision for me. Can't trust a dude because now he's going on another bad streak. But anyway, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching the end of episode 4. Thank you guys for sticking through this playthrough so far. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know what you guys think, as always. I believe the start of episode 5 is the final episode of this season of the game, and I think... There's only one season, there may be more, I don't know, I gotta look it up. If I do, we'll obviously keep playing and we'll play the next season so we can keep enjoying this amazing game. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking all the videos, super appreciate it and it helps the channel a ton. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next episode of Tales from the Borderlands where we're going to start episode 5. See you later.